Hi there and welcome to Draw Stuff Real Easy. I'm going to do the last face today for a while. Um, uh, where's the top and the bottom? There we go. So I'm going to draw you someone, I'm going to draw you a man this time who's a lot older. I'm just show you how kind of character gets in there. So do you remember we've done this kind of, there's the circle, half it, and then you've got that kind of half again. But this time instead of kind of having a pointy chin, make it big. Make it go out and bring it sideways like that. So you're getting a really big kind of head. And I was putting the eyes between there, do you remember, and kind of the nose there and the mouth in between. This is kind of making it a simple plan. And the ears are kind of from the eyes to the nose like that. So he's an older guy, so let's put a chin in there, and then these will be kind of double chin things. And his eyes are going to be kind of about there. And we'll give him a big nose, because kind of the older you get, the you know, your features kind of stop getting... Picture. Let's make him a bit grumpy as well. I find I'm, my voice, as I'm designing characters and putting kind of... Uh, see, I did it just... <laughs> as, as I'm putting uh, kind of character interfaces, I find I start kind of talking and, you know, and the way accents, you know, feelings go into the thing. I'm making his ears much bigger because, you know, the ears kind of get bigger the older you get. Uh, let's make him kind of bald as well. Shall we do that? How about that? Um, what about... He's going to have... Um, shirt, kind of something like that, and it's probably kind of shoulders coming out from his ears. Really, <laughs> let's put in his eyes. Now I've shown you how to do these eyes. This is making it really easy. They're just kind of like mm, semicolons, not semicolons. They're like apostrophes or colons or something like that, aren't they? Um, and you could just put a, a splodge for a nose, really, like that, um, and then. Just a kind of uh, for the mouth and a, mm, for his bottom lip, and uh, you can if you're doing just pen and it, you can do as you come to to the end of a line and you want it to kind of fade in rather than be sharp ending. You can just put little dots like that. Uh, what are we going to have here? With this hair. Hang on. He has these kind of sideburns, hairy sideburn bits there, like, like that. So then his ears will be kind of coming like something like that because he'll have big flappy ears and then bald head you can maybe put a little shine on there probably got sort of frowns and wrinkles and things like that in there um, let's have this shirt coming shirt collar something like that uh, we can maybe put some kind of check pattern into it like that just it's quite easy really, just do it really simple. And you know, have his little, um, you know, the thing at the bottom of your throat. It's probably called your throat. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Adam's apples here, the little dimple in your throat. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure it has a word name for it. Bit of shading there. And um, he's a bit angry, isn't he? So I'll give him some anger coming out of this. There we go. <laughs> How to draw a grumpy old man. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, excuse me, you better watch this. Thanks for watching, and if you want more longer videos, try my other channel called Shoe Rainer Drawing. Uh, I've also got another channel, Shoe Rainer Life, which is all about what I get up to. You can find out much more about me and my books on shoerainer.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. If you like drawing and you want to do more, click here and subscribe to this channel uh, so you can keep up with all the stuff that I'm doing on Draw Stuff Real Easy. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.